Hello everyone, here we are again on Huey's Colors on the Thimia Radio and Television Channel. And I'm Min Kyo, who will explore the highlights of today's program with you. The news of today's cultural events introduces destinations and Huey cuisine. Meeting artisan Ngo Thi Tuyuk, the only person who preserves the traditional Huey card making craft in I Love Huey. Visiting and admiring the unique architecture of Angden Palace in the beauty of Hue section. Stay tuned with us. Recently, Hue Nam Palace Monument Support Board collaborated with the Hue Department of Culture and Sports, Hue Monuments Conservation Center, and related units to organize Hue Nam Palace Festival starting with the procession ceremony of the Holy Mother from the Holy Temple at 352 Gilang to Huynam Palace on the Hu River. At 6 a.m. at Tin Tin Holy Mother Temple, hundreds of residents and visitors, particularly followers, arrived early to prepare for the ceremony of procession of the Holy Mother and the King's sacred box along with other rich objects. Down to the double dragon boats and single dragon boats sailing upstream on the Hung River to bring the Holy Mother to the Min Hao Hui Nam. Every year we attend the ceremony with joy and happiness, praying first for national peace and well-being, and then for the family affairs of the mother and everyone to be blessed with peace. This morning, the clear skies answered the ceremony was beautifully successful. The festival activities aim to preserve and promote cultural values and heritage associated with the monument. It also responds to the spiritual needs of the community practicing the belief in the worship of the Mother of Tanfu, an intangible cultural heritage recognized by UNESCO. When I entered the Mother Goddess religion, my parents and family were very supportive because it is a beautiful cultural tradition. At the time of Vietnam and the Divine Land, I must continue and preserve our national identity. Huy Nam Palace Festival is a traditional cultural and spiritual activity worshipping the Holy Mother Tien Iana, held in the 3rd and 7th lunar months annually. It is also considered a traditional folk festival that reflects the community spirit of the ancient capital. An exciting information for the cultural sector of the Thimue province, the Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism has included the traditional knowledge of making and wearing Hue Ao Yai in the National Intangible Cultural Heritage List under the Folk Knowledge category. Ao Yai of Hue has undergone a formation and development process that mirrors the historical fluctuations of the Tonghua Phu Song to Thimue region. Despite historical upheavals, the craft of making traditional ao yai has been preserved and promoted, becoming a distinctive feature of the Ngu Mountain and Huang River area. The inclusion of the traditional knowledge of making and wearing hui ao yai in the National Intangible Cultural Heritage List marks the beginning of accurately recognizing the values and contents of this intangible cultural heritage. This recognition adds in successfully complying a dojo on a Vietnamese outside costume for inclusion in the national list of intangible cultural heritage, with the aim to eventually nominate it for UNESCO's representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity. In the Tinghue, there is an ancient fishing village on Tam Yang Lagoon. This place, known for its rich cultural life typical of river regions, is a destination favored by tourists seeking experiences. The village is called Ngu Mi Thanh, located in Quang Lai Commune, Quang Điên District.
tourists can relax in a tranquil rural village and immerse themselves in the life of the fishermen. They can take part in various activities on boats, such as checking in the mangrove forest, net fishing, paddle boarding, stamping mushroom, and grilling fish on the boat. Especially, visitors will be captivated by a vibrant art world at the Moro village, which preserves the rustic charm and breathes life into the daily existence of the fishing community. This will be a memorable journey during your visit to Wei. During one of his Bumbohe experiences, renowned American chef Anthony Bourdain proclaimed, Bumbohe is the best soup in the world that I have ever tasted. This dish has also been recognized as one of 12 Vietnamese dishes get the Asian culinary values by the Asia Record Organization for its rich and distinct flavor characteristic of Hue. Bung Bo Hue has been a dish for hundreds of years in the ancient capital. Cooking authentic Bung Bo Hue is an art form with secrets passed down to generations. The most critical element is the broth, made delicious by the sweetness of simmered bones and meat, the strong aroma of the lemongrass, the richness of shrimp paste, and a subtle sweetness from rock sugar. Behind each bowl are unique techniques from the chef. A complete bung includes slices of beef, a piece of pork, crab cake, and congealed pig blood served with fresh vegetables and spicy fish sauce, leaving a lasting impression of Hue on anyone who tries it. Among the folk games of the ancient capital, the traditional card game Bai Tui is a favorite among Hui women during their leisure time, especially during date. The journey of making each set of Bai Tui cards is also a fascinating story. Today in Hue, only one person continues the traditional craft of making Bai Tui cards. She is Mrs. Go Thi Tuyek from the Alin village, Hungven Ward, Hue City. Let's meet Mrs. Tuyek in I Love Hue. Dì là Ngô Thị Tuyết Năm đi là dì là lên sinh năm tư là dì 70 tuổi Dì hiện ở lại là năm tư để lên phương Hương Vinh Công việc của dì thì làm bài với là phụ giúp uh, việc nhà thôi <cười> Tính ra thì lúc nhỏ là lúc hồi con uh, đi học là Mà đến khi lấy chồng rồi là làm được uh, 50 năm rồi Cái nghề đi học là của ông bộ, của ba mẹ, ba mẹ học của ông nội. Trong nhà thì à, nếu cái nghề đi là ba đời, vì công nhận nghề nhân đi là cũng được à, hơn 10 năm rồi. Công đoàn mà làm đi thì hồi xưa là mình từ mình mua giấy về từ từ mình làm hết Nhưng mà bữa nay là có cái công nghệ rồi mà mình phải thuê học cắt, học cắt máy cho nhanh Học cắt ra xong, xong rồi là mình in Mình in xong rồi, rồi mình qua mình giảng, giảng rồi mình cắt Cắt tấn khúc rồi để mình cắt tấn con ra tấn bồ Hẳn như hẳn nhiều công đoàn nhưng mà nhẹ 
cái công việc đi tiền đòi hỏi mình là phải cân bằng nhiều công đoàn do đó mình phải cân bằng cho con nếu mà mình mà làm mà vừa làm vừa chơi thì cũng bảy sáng bình mà gì làm là một ngày là một trăm bộ một bộ nếu mình bỏ ra mình bỏ xỉ một bộ còn năm nghìn thu nhập thì nếu mà hồi xưa tiếng ổn giờ chứ thì làm ít mà lại ít còn giống chứ gì thì tuổi già rồi cái gì làm để mà gì tiểu dùng còn giờ chứ mà tỉnh ra mà nếu mà gì mà làm mà lo cả gia đình thì không được <cười> cái tấm nguyện của gì là chị cứ trống gì cho có sức khỏe để gì làm để giữ cái nghề gia truyền của ông cha mình để lại nguyện vọng của gì là sao nên nếu mà gì làm được cái gì để lại cho mấy em có gì Located right beside the Angkor River at 97 Phantom Phong Street, Phu Nhung Ward, Pei City, Angden Palace is a prominent architectural structure of Nguyễn Dynasty, featuring a unique blend of Asian and European styles. This building represents the neoclassical art movement in Vietnam at the beginning of the 20th century. It has also served as a key setting for numerous films that had been and will be shot in Hue. In today's The Beauty of Hue, we invite you to visit and appreciate the beauty of this palace. Originally known as Phung Hoa Mansion, Anding Palace was a residence of King Khai Ding when he was a prince. After ascending the throne, Khai Ding renovated the Polish and best hound it on his only son, Prince Wing Thuy, who later became Emperor Bao Dai. Following the August Revolution of 1945 and the abdication of the Nguyen Dynasty, the family of former Emperor Bao Dai and impressed the Kung Mood to live here. The architectural highlight of Anding Polish is the Kai Tung Pavilion, resembling a European castle. Inside the pavilion were paintings over 100 years old, depicts the six tombs of the Nguyen emperors. These are unique artworks from the transitional period between traditional and modern art in Vietnam at the beginning of the 20th century. Additionally, the European style furniture and household items used by the former royal family are preserved here. Several statues, paintings, and photos of Imperial Kaiding, Emperor Bao Dai, and their family are still kept and displayed at the Polish. Today, Anding Palace remains a popular destination in the interiorities of tourists exploring Hue. The beautiful images of Angden Palace, the dazzling century-old germ of the ancient capital, have brought today's program to a close. Keep following Hue's colors to feel the searing colors and peace of life in beloved Hue. Goodbye and see you again. <laughs>